So, hello and welcome to the Sahib Show and this is Albion Online. So, the new Percival update is coming and I have tried now out uh, many different days how it works, what it does, uh, what I like the best. Ah, mm, this sound here. <laughs> no, no. Oh, these wolves are so good. Did you see the lag? Yeah, because this is the ch staging server. It means uh, there is almost no people. You can test out things here. And yes, so Percival is coming. There is my favorite set, what I'm wearing right now, but that's not what I want to do with the video. I'm doing this video, this is the, let's take these away here, and this is the weapon types which get uh, some new abilities and uh, we're starting to understand how they work and uh, what would be very good use for different things, different weapons. So first let's take this axe. Let's take this axe. This axe, axe has now the new ability which is spinning plates. So the caster is surrounded by magic plates for two and a half seconds. Every 0.5 seconds the blades deal 97 magical damage to all enemies in 6 meter radius. Each hit also increases the caster's damage by 4% for 3 seconds stacks up to 10 times and uh, cooldown is 8 seconds uh, okay and now I'm using my pork omelette it will go down after 3 minutes sorry for that this is a very strong pork omelette so the cooldown is I think much much more if I'm taking this away you see the cooldown is 9 so I assume the cooldown uh, uh, origin originally is 10 seconds let's use the ability and what uh, one what uh, one other thing which they read is uh, this which is this is insanely good insanely good why because one charge you steal 30 percent of damage dealt two charge 60% and 3 charts 100% it means that you can do very very great heal last it was healing up to like uh, 280 300 or something like that because uh, these physical damage on an enemy additionally you steal a portion of the health enemies in the attack um, I want to say uh, because this is a test server and all my abilities is full here because in the test server there is a thing you can the stone you can touch it and it will max out all your abilities so you can test out things and I wanted to say big thanks to the developers to put the stone back on the Garleon uh, if you would be so nice and kind, please put the stone back also in other cities like Martlock, Grimhurst uh, and uh, others, royal, royal continent cities. So, the go this cooldown is almost over. Let's try... Ah, okay. This is the solo dungeons here. Let's, let's enter the dungeon then. You can see the dungeon also. So, and most important thing, most important things, why I want to thank the developers. The one thing they screwed up is that they, they in, in the dungeon can enter more than one people, so you can't call these solo dungeons. Solo means alone, sing, single-handedly then name the dungeons solo able dungeons solo able, solo able dungeons my English is my, not my main language sorry for that so name dungeons 
solo dungeon is only for one. You have to be politically correctly if you want to uh, maintain your players because if you say to the players solo dungeons, players automatically, automatically understand only I am going to enter the dungeon and then dungeon nobody else can go in. So change it. Uh, but what they did, what will make this better is I am now in U wood, it is yellow region. I'm clicking here. Prepare to be amazed now. My item item power is 1219. It means there is no IP cap anymore. In no yellow or blue dungeons there is no IP cap. Item power cap. It was Otherwise, it would be one like 870 or 800 something. And when I'm using my very high weapons, it is still 1546. So it's amazing. Thank you, developers, for removing the stupid IP gap. So we finally, I am finally, finally, first time in this game able to use in, in, um, Live server, I have also uh, 8.3 weapon and uh, mist caller and 8.2 rest of the set. Now I can finally use it. Finally, first time in, in this history. I have played this game almost four years now. Finally, I can use it. And I don't have to be scared that if I die, I lose all the set. Because I want to use the high set. I, I worked so much in this game, invested almost 80 million silver to get my stats up in live server and my gear up so I can use it now. So thank you developers for that. So now, finally, take this away. The buff is gone. So the new ability is 11 point something seconds, okay? This should be, yeah, I still get some buff somewhere, I don't know where. Mm. Ah, yeah, yeah, from my armor, of course, when I take this, uh, I, I will take this away, so then you can see. Now it's okay, yeah, 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 2 seconds, 12 seconds, 15 seconds, yeah, now, now, okay, I will take this, uh, these things away, let's increase a little bit our damage, because then you see original uh, cooldowns also. So now, that said, feel free to uh, to stack up your or or uh, pimp your gear, pimp your gear, because now you can use it. Now you can go to the hell gates in uh, yellow hell gates. I think I don't know about reds, but you can go blue zone hell gates and there would be really nice fights because the IP cap is removed so let's go in this video should be a little bit longer Don't worry about that I'm taking my time to just explore and oh did you see that okay our ability is all almost there first Let's use our spinning blade, which uh, gives us 4% uh, damage buff for 3 seconds. And then let's hit also this monster. So come on, come here. Boom! Ah, oh, stun! 300, yeah. By the way, these solo dungeons are, uh, I have tested many solo dungeons in yellow zones, haven't been able yet to find um, higher, higher tier maps. So what did I, what just happened? I'm a, I'm a, I'm, do I have a life now? What? Let's see here. Really? I didn't want to go uh, live, but maybe I am then. 
No, I'm not. Why this voice came here? Hmm, but I'm not live. Yeah. This voice came from the Alice. Okay. Now, let's try this healing thing. Three stacks. One, two. Three. And let's heal. Boom! Let's kill this here uh, and try. Hmm. Cool. And we can see the heal then. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to see the heal. I want to see the heal, the heal, the heal, the heal. We should take one monster to die then. To understand the heal. God damn, I can't see the heal here. Okay, let's try again. Sorry for the interference. And uh, this also here is this shrine to give you buff. Now it gives us damage versus mobs is 100%. Move speed increased by 60. Should be damage versus mobs and players increased by 100% because if this is not solo dungeon then I have to protect myself. Yeah, you come here. Oh, this is really good, this blade. This is more mobs there. I want to find higher tier mobs so you understand. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Die, die. Okay, now. One stack. Two. Damn it! Two, five, six. Okay. So then three stacks m must be more. One, two. Ah, damn. My, this is not activated. Okay, these mobs are too weak for us to understand. Let's, let's, let's go and find the boss. Because otherwise the mob dies faster than we can do the damage and uh, everything. So yeah, of course I have so high, high tier armor set and everything. So they almost, almost don't do damage for me. But now you are you have opportunity to see the see the solo dungeon here. So hello, where is the dungeon boss? Can I please find it? Find him. And then we can try many spells and things using this boss. And look how fun it is. <laughs> can run so far. Oh, there is some little guy. Chuk, 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 chuk. No, 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 no. Okay, boss, go back. Yes, thank you very much. Ah, you still want to come. Okay, let's try then. One stack, two stacks, three stacks, and heal. 280. Ah, it's the same almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So that's good. So the blades. Okay. Very nice. Nope, I don't want to kill you. Sorry for that. Yeah, I will give you, kill you here. I need to try another skills. Oh, don't do that, come on. Oh, this is like little AoE. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, um Now this is this 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 was the new spell spinning blades and this ability here. 
so like I said this video will be longer so stay with me so now the hammers and the new spell inertia ring creates a slewing ring on the ground around the gaster the area has 2.5 meter width and 8 meter radius and lasts for 4 seconds when enemies try to move through the ring through the ring you know through this 2.5 meter width thing the move speed is reduced 90% ignores all ground control resistance which is wonderful also why I choose these forge hammers is because also uh, this ability got a little bit uh, extra, extra because this makes you huge resilient for 10 seconds, which is good. Increases your armor by 188, which is great. Normal attack damage by 135, super. And normal attack range by 50%. When, hu when huge, you also slew all enemies in 7 meter radius uh, around you by 50%. Uh, ignoring crown control, this cannot be purged. So, this, the, this ability got uh, this uh, normal attack range by 50% when I'm not wrong. So, let's try that. So, they, they, they can't like uh, run away. So, uh, so this is this is the range is better. So now that the smoke towering here, boom! So come out here, you see, he's ha ah, doesn't work for mobs. Okay, mokey doki choki boki. So yeah. This works for I don't know why why it doesn't work for mobs. Should work. This ring. Because move speed is reduced. Ah this is the boss. Maybe for the boss this ring won't work. Let's try weaker mobs here. Hello, specialist, come. Run through this. Ah now you see. Yeah, 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 it will work, sorry. It will work, but this is the boss monster. It will not work for the boss monster. Ta-da! We got some good information there. Holy moly. So, next one. All the... What's the class? Melee weapon. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, spear, not spear. This is the. What's the name? Forgot the name. Would you believe that? Say yes, I believe. Quarter stuffs. <laughs> Quarter stuffs. Yes, this is my favorite. That's why I choose that. And it will get this thing. Rising blow. Hit enemies in a frontal cone, knocking them in the air for 1.25 seconds and dealing 147 physical damage yeah so also he has this tornado so we can like two times raise them can we raise the boss this is the question hello my friend come here can I raise you oh yeah again now I can raise you two times oh that's fun so that's what that does Also, I think there is still IP gap because it does only 79 damage. Yesterday the IP gap was removed. They have done something in this. It sh should not do only 188. Yeah, I don't know. I knew it. Yeah, you don't knew. You don't knew shit, man. Okay, next one. My favorite wa wa wee wa 
this one. Oh yes. This is my new weapon also in the live server. I will this is the best the best damage dealer by far in this game by far right now when you are using proper mist caller and proper pork omelette your cooldowns are so dramatically down you won't even believe it this is gonna be like two seconds when i eat omelette this is gonna be like six or 5.9 something this is gonna be like seven or something so yeah it is it will do so fast much damage but that's not what i wanted to tell this is the point <coughs> this is crazy and this is good this is why this is good because this is pretty honest because if you see the uh, the other ability like it it is here in uh, this hunter's hood this is magic barrier which reflects all incoming damage back to the attacker and increase your resistance by 49 for four seconds this is for four seconds this is really long time really really long time like really long time this case this is for 0.8 seconds you back Im immune to damage and reflect all in comics so, so it, there is a little bit extra this is you are also immune and you reflect all incoming damage back to the attacker at the end of the channel you hit all enemies in five meter radius around you dealing 375 physical damage and silences 1.69 the numbers here is up at all tier 6 and all when you have the maxed out stats otherwise the number is smaller but you get the point so why this is so freaking freaking good if there is pve it is very easy to understand when the mob hits and reflect that huge damage let's say mob will want to do for you like i don't know 700 damage thousand damage now you have almost one second to hit the button not get hit reflect the damage and then silence also that's crazy good super crazy good i love it i am love loving it I'm showing you that come here my friend <laughs> hit me now do you want to hit me no ah oh, there was lag That's the way how I do it. I think I did it right. I don't know. Let's let's try it one more time. <laughs> That's wonderful. Did you see that? Okay, let's go away because Sp uh, spell parry effect hits peak Spencer for two hundred fifteen physical damage. Where is uh, reflecting? No, 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 but where is the reflecting? Let's see the previous one. Hmm. Didn't it work then? Or should we use lower tier monsters? I don't understand because this is the damage and they, they have done something this uh, IP gap because I, I, I should do like ton of the damage like much 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 more damage yesterday was all correct 
today they have done something I don't know what developers what's going on if IP gap should be removed remove don't play so the sword was that next one Beep. this one so the new is Impaler after four, uh, 0 0.4 seconds a giant spear will pierce through the ground a 2.5 meter radius impact area deals 657 physical damage and slows enemies by 50% for 5.8 seconds wow and this is instant this is and range is 12 this is very dangerous i have already dueled today and tried it out this is very dangerous yeah of course when i'm using this and reflecting right time which is almost impossible maybe i don't know <laughs> when i do it it's really good so let's try it out let's open again. Let's let's stack it out stack up let's put our three stacks here hip hip hooray now boom 375 yeah should be 657 you see something is wrong with IP gap and why I'm using um, using here on spear here is heal that's why one second because if you do like that you hit and then do like that boom it's super good thank you very much for your help so that was that what they have done with this IP gap I wow developers hello don't screw the game up again so next one next one is I want to use this yeah next one is uh, all the frost stuffs this is only th th these abilities are for all axes all hammers all quarter stuff all swords all spears and uh, all ice stuffs and all nature stuff so this is now drops an ice shard crown target the impact deal 471 damage to all enemies in a three meter radius so yes only thing is the cast time is 1.2 seconds you can take it down of course a little bit but there is cooldown zero seconds which is really good let's try it out let's open a can of yes yes let's do it boom that's what it does why i'm like like i'm like really much this whore for stuff is because usually i will do like that boop pew and then and then boom missed that <laughs> so yeah i'm not very good with frost stuff so you know but frost noma is very very great because it will uh, leave the area and also what it does uh, freezing frozen enemies can't move or attack also the same is avalanche it is damage and then there is frozen 4.2 seconds so what what we can do here is let's see boom boom and Boom. First we did 166, then the avalanche 296 and then the ice shard 276. Imagine, this little ice shard did almost the same damage what was the avalanche. It should be 505 and this should be 471. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they have nerfed also this IP gap to do, do, do something for IP gap here, which is not good developers. You have failed us players again. I don't know what to do in today's patch. 
tomorrow please change it as fast as you can because you promised that the IP gap is removed now it is not it's very bad that you do the this thing on your players never do that so in this here is nature staffs all nature staff have new Rejuvenabilis. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this word. There increases a resistance of an alley by one, three, four for two seconds and spreads ba -ba -ba -ba, stacks up to ten alleys in a fifteen meter radius. The number of the stacks depends on the number of the stacks active on the targeted alley. So. Sounds cool. I, 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 myself, I don't like healers because I don't, I just don't get it. And I, I get that people in the group need them, but me being healer is boring. It's so boring. I'm falling asleep 10 times in a second. It's like, what? What? Who is it? What's the point? What? No point. Okay. <laughs> I respect healers when they are group and helping other others out, but me being in the group and healing, sorry, I have tried, I have so much tried. No, sorry. Let's open again. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Well, let's see here. W ability. This is for me. Oh, I don't know. I like this ability much more. Every time he hits me, <laughs> I get healed. <laughs> Okay, so this is healing stuff. I don't uh, want to even uh, tell anymore because this healing stuff is too boring to uh, do anything in this game. When, I don't know, this is just not for me. This the healing stuff is like, no, not for me. When you are a healer, using healing stuff, uh, yep, respect for that, uh, but uh, nope, not for me. So, um, now I'm showing you my favorite build here just want to show you. I like this because it will do almost 300 damage every 15 seconds so it is thousand over thousand damage over one second which other uh, effect, I, other spell do also but this does to the four enemies around you and you don't have to think if they are on the on the current space or, or, or the area or whatever like demon demon cape does demon cape is cool but then you have to like I don't know stun enemy or something and if if the this this build for me is only and only and only and only for player versus enemy PvA because I like PvE PvP, I can I, I uh, try today and yesterday. Yes, I can pretty much do. So this, this is um, the damage is so huge. This is so crazy damage. And when I'm also tr uh, taking this omelet, using my armor to take down the cooldowns, then be amazed. I was. What's the point of this build? To heal myself. This is crazy good. Then this will instantly resect cooldown so I can heal twice and I can move same time and I can also make the damage by taking the heal. So that's wonderful. Also this is invisibility to do the group randomized dungeons and of course this build look here first this heroic glaive does damage and six meter radius so this is like aoe very good this is also like aoe because five meter radius 500 physical damage very good and silencing then after three stacks i can do almost one point one to one thousand four hundred damage 
and additionally your resistance are increased by 81 for three seconds you, you now you think oh what the hell only three seconds yes hell the cooldown is 6.8 seconds do you see that this cooldown is 5.4 seconds this cooldown is two seconds so here every fifth normal attack your resistance are increased by 78 what it means first of all this will one second after one second reflect all damage and i am immune to damage so there is one second so here is three seconds there is four seconds and here is two seconds this is six seconds almost i can't take much damage at all that's crazy good so now the second point why i'm loving when i'm when i'm so love with this broadsword even if you take this away i'm using interrupt which is also crazy good but now i'm using this because the aoe damage and i uh, am immunity so this will do do little bit damage this is do huge damage and this will do major damage now most cooldowns most cooldowns on weapons are 50 20 or 30 seconds to go to do high damage this is 6.8 seconds i can do at last twice so then it's 2000 and uh, almost 2 2.8 thousand plus these damages so this, this i have to show you this is so crazy good Come here, my friend. Let's open a can of damage! Immunity! Damage! Damage! Interrupt! Damage! Immunity! Damage! 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 I'm not doing... Now I'm doing interrupt! What? What? Did you see what's happened? Tada! Happened! in the in the pve this combo here even if you use tier six weapons why tier six because to get that you have to have tier six uh, sword and let's see here uh, boop -a -boop. I have to double check I don't lie yet. Yeah, tier 5, there is none. Of course, tier 4, there is none. Tier 6, there is this spell. And this spell will come when you have 70. So, so it means your sword fighter has to be at least 70. But that's crazy good. And I just love it. Let's see if I can find you monsters to show you the AU. E trick. Hello, my friends! AoE here and AoE there and AoE here and okay, you okay, what the hell? <laughs> that's that's so good. Oh, welcome! Come here! AoE and immunity and AoE and AoE, little bit heal and AoE and AoE. Did you see that? There is there is nothing even to think about it. This is, for my opinion, it is only my opinion. I could be wrong, like Boogie Two Night Eight Eight it says. Uh, I could be wrong, but if I am, please <laughs> let me know in the comments. But in my opinion, this is the best, 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 best build. To take the random dungeons and even maybe take the uh, these group random dungeons because of that's so crazy good so crazy good i think i end this video today or maybe not maybe i will tell you all because i am so lazy guy i don't want to do the video oh, all again so, I will do it. I will do it. Thank you.
Thank you for asking. Appearance. You can change or whatever. Face. Then there is. And what is the random button here? Also, some items cost you gold. Like you see. Yeah. And no, I don't want to proceed. No way. Um, where was this? Uh, this is new for me. The horse thingy. No. Here. So, this is the horse. If I have a horse and I want uh, change, then I just buy it. 750, 1500 or 4000 gold and I have now this beautiful skin. When I die, skin will stay my horse when I'm let's say red or black zone will uh, disappear. If I'm using tier 3 horse, there is tier 3 horse and this skin. When I'm using tier 8 horse, there is tier, tier eight, 8 horse stats and this skin. When I'm tying, I'm losing tier 3 horse. When this is tier 3 horse here. When there is tier 8 horse here, I will lose tier 8 horse. But the skin will stay. To get these skins, you have to get it them in the world or buy. Armored horse same thing oxes very sexy ox 3000 holy crap same thing dire wolves same thing stacks oh this is beautiful same thing cougars same same thing dire boar now this is this this is cool because now the peak is worth why because it's very fun when it's running and uh, but but you you maintain 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 your stats but you can go look cool so that's amazing so that's amazing yeah and donkeys chunky monkey monkey donkey yeah so this is the main things here let's see what this does bum, bum, bum. oh reflects 20 percent incoming damage restores two health per second oh, this is strong so the shrines are also different I see. let's try it out hello yeah a little bit is reflecting bum, bum. Goodbye. <coughs> okay. I think, was there anything else in the update? There was. Maybe I should do another video. But I got tired already for doing this one. But if you liked it, put like. If you don't like, put don't like. And if you haven't done it yet, Please hit the subscribe button and this bell notification button so you get notified every time new video comes out for you. So, as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you on next video. Goodbye.